write the equation of the following graph. So this is a sketch of a graph. So this is not drawn to scale. So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. And you've got two asymptotes here. So this line is passing through two on the y-axis. So you can say this is this line is y is equal to two. And this line is passing through x is equal to negative 1. So this line can be called x is equal to negative 1. Now, so I hope you know the general form of a hyperbola. This, so this is a hyperbola is y is equal to a over x plus or minus b plus or minus c. This is the general form of the hyperbola. So yeah, uh, by looking at the vertical asymptote, so let me write uh, some facts. So your vertical asymptote, I'll write in short, asym. Your vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative 1, okay, which implies x, if you add 1 to both sides, I hope you can understand, this implies x plus 1 is equal to 0. So yeah, this tells me the equation is, uh, okay, I'll come to the equation later on. So let us leave that there, there itself. Your horizontal asymptote, your horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2. Now, what does that mean? That means if you look at the graph, use your common sense. This, your, your, for this branch of the graph, y is always going to be something more than 2 in this branch. And for this branch, y will always be something less than 2. So it will be, for this branch, it will be plus 2 plus something, and this will be 2 minus something. And that is what the horizontal asymptote tells me. So by just looking at this two facts, I can write the equation like this. y is equal to a over this thing, which is x plus 1 plus 2, just like that. So this, in other words, if you want to understand logically, or the maths behind it is, when x becomes negative 1, your function is not defined. And that is what your vertical asymptote is telling you, where your function is not defined. It also tells me when x is approaching negative 1 from the right, when x is approaching negative 1 from the right like this, that means x is becoming closer and closer to 1 from the right, this will be approaching positive infinity. And when x is approaching a negative 1 from the left, this will be approaching negative infinity. I'll come to that later. So now we are almost there. Now we, we need to figure out what this value of a is. Okay, now for that we have got two neat points. You can either plot this or this. This is the y-intercept. So this point can be as a coordinate. This is 0, 5. So let us put this in this equation. So when x is 0, y is 5. So, so let us write that. When x is 0, y is equal to 5. So let us put this fact at this point in this equation. So well, so 5 is equal to a over 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 2. Okay, so this is phi is equal to a plus 2. So I use your logic, so a should be 3. a is equal to 3. So the equation of this graph is y is equal to 3 over x plus 1. We'll confirm this on the calculator, plus 2. Okay, so let us get the calculators out. So this is, I've already drawn that. So let me cancel this. So let me graph this. So this is 3 divided by x plus 1 plus 2. Okay, and then here is your graph. Okay, so this is one branch and this is the other branch. To show the asymptote, so you type in, in y2, you type in 2. And this is where your graph is asymptoting. So this is approaching 2 from above, from below, and this is approaching 2 from above. Now, to confirm the points, it's always good to confirm whether you've drawn it right. 
I'm going to confirm this point. When x is 2, y should be 3. So let me get the calculator out. So g solve uh, y calc when x is 2. y is 3. When x is 2, y is 3. And when x is, you can confirm the y-intercept like this. The y-intercept is 0, 0,3.